Good evening and welcome to a glorious word where we get empowered on the practical word of God. Today I bring you words of encouragement from the Lord. If you're interested to know what the Lord is telling you, child of God, please stay tuned and God bless you. Thank you so much for staying tuned. God bless you. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9 that no eyes have seen, no ears have heard, no human hearts have conceived what the Lord has in store for those who love and fear him or what the Lord has prepared for those who love and fear him. Child of God, I know you may be going through some situations. You may be going through some difficulties. You may be going through some sick periods in your life where things are not going the way you expected where things your business is kind of falling apart your education you have to repeat a course or things are not going the way you plan you don't have enough finances to fund your education i have come to let you know that do not be discouraged do not give up because what the lord has in mind for you is big even eyes have not seen it yet as a child of god all you need to do is to keep on pushing even ears have not heard it and human minds have not conceived it you may be wondering is this the love that he promised me is this the love that he showed me he told me i was gonna have as a child of god but i have come to let you know that it is discouragement that will cut you from that love it is giving up that is gonna cut you from experiencing the manifestation of the word of god or the manifestation of the things of god in your life do not give up keep on pushing be consistent in whatever you are doing no matter how you feel no matter the way you feel no matter how people mock at you no matter the situation you find yourself i know you get to a point sometimes and you're wondering why am i going through this thing and i am a child of god even people who don't know god are experiencing much better than i am but i have come to let you know do not compare your life with anybody be consistent because uh, the christian work is a personal journey with christ and everybody has have their stages as they go yours is not to give up you have to make sure your your focus is jesus you have to make sure that your focus is God. Do not give up. Do not be discouraged. No matter the circumstances, no matter the trials, no matter the temptations, no matter the faces you find yourself, just keep on pushing because the Lord has enough. The Lord has prepared so much for you and it will definitely come to completion in the mighty name of Jesus. It will definitely come to fulfillment in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you this evening, child of God, that the expectations will not be cut short in the mighty name of Jesus, that the words of God will be manifested in your life in the mighty name of Jesus, that the good things that the Lord has promised us in his word will definitely come to fulfillment in your life in the name of Jesus, that whatever plans you're planning on will definitely come to completion in the mighty name of Jesus, that you will achieve that goal in the mighty name of Jesus, that you will get those results in the mighty name of Jesus, that you will graduate from that school in the mighty name of Jesus, that you will take that business to a higher level in the mighty name of Jesus, that your marriage, you will be fulfilled in your marriage in the mighty name of Jesus, that your children will grow to love the Lord in the mighty in the mighty name of Jesus, that whatever expectations you have, they will not be cut short in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you the glory, Lord. We thank you, Lord, because you are taking us somewhere. We give you the glory, Lord, because you have not given up on us. We thank you because you will definitely take us to that final end. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Shalom.